the worst day of the whole trip. Like the day, day two, this is day two now. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is Neff on Neff TV, and I am back with another video. If this is your first time on my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you've been here before, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So first and foremost, I want to say if you hear a noise in the background, that's my dog playing with his little toy. So yeah. And also, I got people at my house, so you will be hearing people speaking in the background. But, focus on me. Alright, so today I'm going to be doing a story time of the worst birthday trip ever! Ah! So, as you guys see, I have posted a vlog, um, get ready with me for the girls trip for my birthday celebration. Um... I will eventually be deleting that video I don't know by the time I drop this video will it be deleted already or will it still be up but eventually it will get deleted um just because there wasn't no sequel to it and that was the point it was supposed to be like a multiple part vlog and since the trip didn't go as planned um there is no part two so eventually it will be it will get deleted but today I'm going to be doing a story time of the worst birthday trip to Miami. Okay, so we're going to start from the beginning. The reason why I chose to go to Miami, usually on my birthday, I always try to go out of state. Um, but And then this time I really wanted to go to an island. Um, but I didn't know what island to go to, but because... You know, it's still, we're still in a um, pandemic. Um, you have to get COVID testing to leave the state and to return. I didn't want to go through all that. So I was just like, you know what, let me just take a quick little trip right here to Miami. So I had like everything planned. I am a planner. Like if I'm ever going on a trip, I don't wing anything. I plan it. I have a whole itinerary. I text it to everybody and I research. I pick what I want to do. All that. So we had a list. I'm going to show you the list actually because I didn't delete it. <sighs> Let me show you the list. Okay, so basically this is the itinerary that I um, sent to everybody. And these are the things that I researched and that I wanted to do. So my cousin came from another state to um, celebrate with me. And my friend um, is going, so it's three of us on a girls trip. So the day of, um, we're already running behind schedule. Um, we get there and basically we're rushing the whole time in Miami. We're rushing to do everything. So we get to Miami late. We had to check in at four or yeah, I think it was four. We checked in at four. We had dinner reservations at, um, at six to Nobi restaurant in Miami. Um, and I took a long time to get ready. My friend, she takes a long time to ready, to get ready. My cousin, she she doesn't take that long. I don't think she takes that long to get ready. But between me and my friend, like we were rushing to make it to the restaurant on time. So we go ahead, we go to the restaurant, we eat our food. Nobi was really good. I really like that restaurant. They have really good food. They're a bit pricey though, but still really good food. And we um, get our food or whatever. The food is good. So we try to plan. Okay, so what are we going to do tonight? We were supposed to go to um, Cameo that night. And we decided to go to Bricks. Now, Bricks is an outside club. 
And I wasn't really too fond of that because I don't want to be outside. Like, I felt like I was just too cute to be standing outside. But it was a vibe, though. It was a vibe. So, the next day, we wake up and we plan to... Um, plan to go to Dior Cafe in Miami. I'm sorry, we were supposed to go to Bacon, bitch, not Dior Cafe. Um, first of all, we were already late. We woke up late. We go there. Of course, in Miami, you got to pay for parking. So we're driving around looking for parking. We end up finding a parking area that was cheap. So we parked the car. Come to find out, there was a wait. The lines at Bacon um, was so long that we decided that we're not going to go to Bacon Bitch anymore because it was ridiculous. We was literally going to stand in line for a good two, three hours. So we decided to go to this other restaurant that I went to before when I went to Miami called Palace. It's either The Palace or Palace. It's basically the drag show. So we end up getting in line for that. And um, by the time we got there, they were closed because I guess they do, every time the talent show start again, not a talent show, the drag show, every time the drag show starts again, um, they open, they open the, um, the restaurants to new people. So you would have to wait until that drag show is over in order to dine in. So the next dine in was at two and we were there like I would say 130, 140, 130, between like 115 to 130. So we ended up setting a line to get into the palace or palace um for about two hours. We stand in line. It's hot, it's summer. It's Miami, and we're on the South Beach. I literally had sweat dripping down my back to my ass crack. Like, it was disgusting. I was just sweating in places that you shouldn't be sweating. Finally, after waiting in line for about a good two hours, we finally get to dine in. So we go to sit, and he's bringing us the menu. And he was like, oh, um, so it's $45 to dine, um, and you get bottomless um mimosas unlimited um and they're having brunch for their menu i'm like whoa what excuse me so he was like yeah so i was like how about if i don't want mimosas how about i i just want you know to eat he was like it doesn't matter um you're you're still gonna um you're still gonna pay 45 dollars and I was like, well, it don't matter if I don't want a mimosa or not. That's not going to reduce my price or nothing. He said no. And I had my cousin and my friend with me. And I was like, if y'all want to eat here, that's fine. But I'm not going to pay $45 for a brunch. And I'm sorry, it wasn't giving. Like, the food wasn't giving. I was looking at the foods that was being brought out next to us. And I was just like, I'm not paying $45 for that. Like, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. And... My um cousin and my friend agreed that it was just way overpriced. So we get up and we leave. So mind you, after standing there for two hours, not only did we sweat, but we didn't even get to eat. So we walking down the um, South Beach Strip and we trying to find something to eat. And my cousin had been to Miami um, a month prior. So she was like, oh, there was this restaurant that she had ate at. It was really good. We should go there, yada, yada, yada. So we walk in, trying to figure out where it is. We're hot, we're tired, I'm about to faint. Like, I was I was so hot that I felt like I was about to faint. And if I didn't get a glass of water soon, it was gonna be the end of me, okay? Finally, after walking and passing a few restaurants, this is the restaurant that she remembered. We get a seat right away, we eat, the food was chef kiss. It was really good and we got a lot of food for um, our money and it was less than $45. I think I paid like $30 or $35 for the most but I got so much food and we decided that we were going to figure out what to do that night. This was the worst day of the whole trip. Like the day, day two, this is day two now. 
we go home. We get ready. We decide that we're going to go to Club Live. So we get there. We get to Club Live. And they they trying to charge everybody $100 to get in. It's $100 per head to get in. So, of course, I'm not about to pay $100 to get in. I'm sorry, but I'm not spending my own $100 to get in. So, me and my cousin and my friend, we looking at each other. They looking at me. I'm looking at them. They looking at me. I'm looking at them. And we're like, no. So, we go outside, and this boy talking about some, oh, damn, y'all leaving? And I'm like, yeah, it's $100 to get in. He gonna pat his pockets, talking about some, Damn, that's crazy. Boy, if you don't got the money, just say that. If you don't got the money, just say that. He ended up leaving. Not only did we waste our money and pay for parking that we didn't even stay 10 minutes for. Um, We go drive. Club Cameo is like about 10, 15 minutes away. So we get to Club Cameo. It's shut down. It's not open. I was just like, wow, are you serious right now? We driving around trying to figure out where to go. There is nowhere interesting. So we passed by um, Club Exchange, I think it was. The exchange, I put in like letters what it was. So we get there and first of all, we already knew it was gonna be trash because there was hardly anybody in line. So we're walking and I seen these two girls coming out and I was like, how is it in there? Is it lit? She's talking about something. Mm it's okay i already knew they fucked up right there there we get to the door they asked us for 850 dollars to get in my cousin was like eight dollars and fifty cent <laughs> no sweetie it was 850 dollars to get in they talking about oh you get a bottle and I think food, if I'm not mistaken, for $809. Are you stupid? That night, we ended up taking an L. After driving around, we just decided to go back to the hotel. And at this point, I think it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. And we just decided to go back home to the hotel and call it a day. So day three, we um, decided that we were going to get up extra early to be at bacon y'all know the rest i don't want to keep saying it i i think we plan to be there at um i want to say 10 or 9 we decided that we were gonna um be there so we got up extra early got ready and we were there on time we got right in there was no way and we got our food the food was amazing it was really good and then after that we went on a boat ride um it was a boat tour um we viewed like we went to go see like the million dollar homes and whatnot we got to see p diddy house we got to see um j-lo house we got to see um shakira house um who else we got to see the the guy who um started instagram and then sold it to Facebook um, house and other people house. Um, so that was really interesting and it was fun. And then that night we went to the Fleming's Steakhouse to eat. Oh, the food was so good. The food was so good. That that right there was my favorite um, was my favorite restaurant that we went to food wise. So it was a good day for the most part. And then at night, we went to... That night... What did we do? I don't think we did anything that night. Went to Fleming's. And that was it. I don't remember us going to any outing. Oh, day night. That night, we went to... um. We went to the office. Um, it was dead. It was dead. Um, nothing. It was just... It was dead. Um, Tuesday, the day of my actual birthday, 
we didn't go out to eat we basically slept in till like 11. <laughs> so <laughs> we plan to wake up at 11 and we end up waking up at three o'clock <laughs> We ended up waking up at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We slept like a baby. <laughs> Nobody woke up. We just slept all day till 3 o'clock. And then finally my cousin, my cousin was like, Neff, <laughs> guess what time it is? <laughs> and I was like, what time? She was like, it's 3 p.m. <laughs> it's 3 p.m. So basically... We slept the whole day. Um, we decided there is no point of trying to do anything or going out to eat. So we decided to go get some Haitian food um, and brought it back to the um, hotel. And then we got ready to go to dinner. I had dinner reservations at 8 p.m. at Area 31. The view was amazing. I love the view. I don't care too much for the food. The food wasn't all that to me. Um, I think I got a burger that night. I got a burger and fries. Like, it was a cute little serving. Like, it, the way the food was presented was cute, but it wasn't all that. Um, yeah, but the view was beautiful. It was on, the, like, the 16th floor, and you see, like, the buildings, and it was so pretty at night. But the food was okay. My cousin and my friend ended up paying for my dinner that night. Shout out to them. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah, and then that night, we didn't even do anything because there was nothing popping that day. There was nothing going on that day. Nothing going on. We checked everything. We checked Instagram, Snapchat, whatever you could think of. We was trying our hardest to find something that was going, but nothing was going. We was going to go to the nearest um, hookah bar. And we went to the hookah bar. It wasn't giving, it was dead and they were playing some whack ass music. So we were just like, mm-mm, mm-mm. So we just left and um, yeah, so we decided that we were gonna go to a liquor store, get something to drink and we played Truth Dare Drink. And that was how I spent my birthday. Go, ow! to add insult to injury, to put the icing on the cake. So my tire ended up, um, I ended up having low air pressure. I went over a pothole and ever since then, my um, tire's been low pressure, low pressure. So we kept putting air into it. So finally we realized like, okay, something's wrong with the tire because it's losing air too fast. So, we're driving home. This is Wednesday morning. My cousin got a flight at, I think it was like 11 or something. Um, She got a flight. We're leaving. We left at 8 a.m. We stopped to put air in the tire. And then we're driving. We're on, um, we're on Alligator Alley. Um, so, we're driving. And we getting off the exit in like another 40 miles. Like, it's just straight going. If you've ever been on Alligator Alley, then you know. So we're driving, and then all of a sudden, my car air um, pressure comes on. And it goes from 18, no, it goes from 25 to 18. And I was like, yeah, we, we're done. <laughs> it's over. Um, my air, my air, I mean, my tire is flat. And then it goes to 18 to 2. And then I'm pulling over. So now my cousin is late for her flight. I don't know how I'm about to get home. So I'm calling my insurance. And they're like, okay, where are you guys at? We're telling them where we're at. And then um, they're like, do you have a spare? So I check in the back of my car. I don't have no spare. Come to find out that my car is a newer car so therefore the newer ver the newer cars don't come with spares anymore and i was just like oh my gosh i don't have a spare i don't know how i'm gonna get home we just stress out my cousin's like oh my god i'm gonna miss my flight and i'm just sitting there trying to figure out what to do i'm on the phone with my sister i'm like yo this was going on da -da -da -da. and i'm thinking to myself okay i'm about to call my brother but by the time my brother get all the way to alligator alley from where i live it's gonna be past 11. Thankfully, thankfully, 
um shout out to the man if he ever come across this video he ever sees it um to this very kind man who pulled over to try to help us he was like oh do you got a spare and we were like no we don't have no spare and i had this like patching thing for my tire in the car and then this like machine like this little thing where you could put air in the car i don't know what it's called and then he was like, even if I put air in your car, it's not going to matter because you're not going to get far. Can I patch the tire up? The split in your tire is too, like, it's too damaging at this point. It's not going to matter. So he was like, where are you guys headed? And we were told him, I was like, okay, I'm going to the airport to drop my um cousin off. And he was like, I'm headed down that way. I can give you guys a ride. So we over here scared. <laughs> um... But it was three women and one man, and we were so scared. So we're like, what do you want to do? <laughs> and then my cousin was like, oh, um, we think we should go with him. And then I was like, y'all can go with him, but I don't want to leave my car. Because at the time, I didn't know what I was going to do with my car. So my sister finally, she was like, um, you can leave your car. Um, we'll go get a tire, and then we'll go back and get your car. So I was like, okay. So I was like, okay, let me go with, so we're going to go with him. All three of us is in this car, like three girls, one guy, a stranger we don't know. So we're in the car and me and my, <laughs> me, my friend and my cousin, we're texting each other. <laughs> if, oh my God, like if you guys could see the messages, we were like scared. So all three of us were texting each other. We are so scared in the car. We were like, yo, how about if he kidnap us? <laughs> We're like, how about if he kills us and throws us in the ditch? Like, nobody's going to find us. We were so scared. We were so scared. But we were praying on the way home. I was praying. I was like, God, please don't let this man kill us. And then I was telling, I was texting my sister because my sister had my location at all times. So I was like, can you please look out for me? Like, just keep watching my location every so often. And she was like, okay. <laughs> Um, but I was really, really scared, but he was a really nice man. Um, he barely talked to us, barely paid us any mind. He was so nice. He was a, he was a very nice, kind man to take three women that he doesn't know in his car, drop them off out of his way, a little out of his way, um, just to make sure that we got to where we want, needed to go on time. So if he ever do see this video, I forgot his name. I'm so sorry i forgot his name but if he does see this video i want to thank you so much because we would not make it back home if it wasn't for you so thank you thank you thank you so much um i truly believe it was god who sent him um to save us that day because i don't know what i would have done i don't know how i would get my cousin to the airport but um yeah so he dropped us off at the airport my sister ended up picking me up from the airport and then i had to go buy a tire drive all the way back to um, fort lauderdale and get my car come back home and it was just a mess that day so the point of the story is we took a l one let's not forget let us never forget and two, stay home <laughs> because honestly, it's not the same out here no more. Like if you're not going out the country, it's boring. Like it's nothing to do. Um, and also like, I feel like I just wasted a whole bunch of money for nothing. Um, the only good thing about the trip is I got to see my cousin. I got to hang out with my friend, me and my friend. We haven't linked up in a long time. So um, I got to see her and I got to see my cousin because I haven't seen my cousin in years. So um, I was really happy to see them and we caught up. We had personal talks. We were motivated and we talked about our dreams, our goals. It was real life conversations going on. And I truly appreciate those talks, those moments, and we vented to each other. It was real personal, real growth, real women empowering women. It was just beautiful. Um, that was the part that I love about the trip. Um, I know how they say when you go to Miami, you don't come back friends. But, <laughs> but we came back friends and we came back stronger and better than ever. 
so um i was really happy about that it was very successful as far as a girl's trip but it was just like we took an L because there was nothing to do. It was very boring. Like this is the first, I think this is the first year since like I actually like grown up and hit like I would say 18 that I had a very boring birthday. And it was just, it wasn't giving. I, it was just boring. Um, I should have stayed home or went out the country. But other than that. I had a really good time thank you to my cousin for coming for taking the trip here just to celebrate with me thank you to my friend um for taking the days off just to come vibe with me on my birthday i truly appreciate both of you guys is sorry i didn't get to vlog it um everything was a mess um we were trying to rush to do everything everything was just happening so fast Everything was going back to back to back to back. We literally was running to the hotel, get ready, leave, come back, get ready, leave. So I'm so sorry that I didn't get to vlog it, you guys. Um, I will be making it up next year, 2022, for my birthday. I'm definitely not going out sad. <laughs> I'm not going out sad next year. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do for my birthday next year, but it gotta be, it gotta be lit to the max because I'm gonna make up for this year. I'm sorry we took an L. <laughs> I'm sorry things didn't go as planned, but you know, that's life. What could we do about it? Um, but we took it like a G. We smiled through it. We laughed through it. And I wouldn't want to go through this trip with anybody else because I know if it was anybody else, it probably would have been a negative trip, arguments, disappointment. So I'm glad I went through it with you guys. Um, thank you to the nice guy who helped us get back to our hometown, helped my cousin get to the airport. Thank you so much for watching my video, you guys. This is Neff on Neff TV. I'm out.